Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart is the second composer that we are going to be talking about this week. He was a great classical composer and lived from 1756, at the beginning of the classical period, until 1791, the height of the period. This is quite a famous painting of him when he was in his early years, about age eight. By this point, he was quite a famous musician. Hard as it might be to believe, by the age of six, Mozart could play harpsichord and violin and could improvise and compose music. By eight, he had written his first symphony and by 12, his first opera. He was what was considered to be a child prodigy, which in the classical period was something to really strive towards. Child prodigies were so popular, they gained such notoriety that they were continuously at royal courts performing for the royalty of the time. Leopold Mozart, Wolfgang's father, was a court musician his entire life, and when he had a son that was so very gifted, he took advantage of this, and he became very domineering. He acted as Mozart's manager and took him on tour from the age of six until he was 15. He played for royalty across Europe and became one of the most famous performers of the era. All this time, he was also composing music. At the age of 15, Mozart was no longer considered a child anymore, so his father brought him back to Salzburg, the city in which they lived and in which he was employed, and unfortunately, things took a turn for the worse. Wolfgang Mozart was not appreciated upon his return to Salzburg and was forced into a very bad job. The Archbishop of Salzburg, who was his father's employer, hired him to simply play violin and told him he was not allowed to perform private concerts, nor was he allowed to compose music. He did not appreciate Mozart's talents and thought him arrogant. So Mozart struggled and performed for his job, as any good person would, but for the next 10 years of his life, he fought this employment and tried to find a better job. His father also tried to help him, but to no avail. There was no better job for him to have because he was simply considered a washed out child prodigy rather than a great composer and a skilled musician. He was still not old enough to be taken seriously. And since the only life that Wolfgang Mozart had ever known was that of an international child celebrity, he could not stand the life of a court musician. He was treated as a skilled servant rather than as an international celebrity, and that was not good enough for him. His life was also so controlled by his father, he really didn't know how to break free and begin his own life. This is what Mozart looked like when he was in his early 20s, and it was at this period that he finally broke free from his father and his terrible job. At the age of 25, Mozart simply left Salzburg and moved to Vienna, Austria, the art capital of the world. It was in Vienna that he finally gave, gained some footing as a musician and a composer. He even gained quite a successful reputation as a composer and a performer. He gave public concerts that were attended by royalty, he wrote very popular operas, and was able to make enough money as a free musician to survive. However, even though he became friends with Joseph Haydn and had this great reputation, he had money struggles. He never made enough to be comfortable, and his music was evolving as he was as a person. It became a little darker and more complex, and audiences began to ignore his music in favor of other lighter, more beautiful composers. The last few years of Mozart's life were not happy. He simply could not understand his life outside of this beginning that he had as an international celebrity and performer. He got sick and was unable to make enough money to recover, so he died struggling to make enough money. He never regained his recognition as a great composer or performer, until, of course, he died. His death was in 1791, and after that, his best operas were finally taken seriously, and his music, especially his later music, was hailed as works of art and genius. 